What's up everybody? So with Apple releasing iOS 17 beta 1 to registered developers yesterday, we're getting a chance to actually get more hands-on with some of the newer, larger features that they released this year. Having said that, one of the bigger ones that actually a lot of people are probably going to benefit from is standby. So in our hands-on video, when we talk about it, it is a separate setting in sections. We'll go over that again specifically in this video and show you how to set it up. Pretty easy, pretty easy to see also what you can do with it and where its limitations are. I'm hoping there'll be integrations built in with other apps that have widgets capable of it and you'll be able to adjust and select from them down the road. But in its current infrastructure, it is somewhat limited to only Apple's same apps for weather, for stock and things of that nature. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. We'll show you kind of the different outlies and how you can mix and match the two settings of widgets and go from there. All right, so you can see here, first things first, is you will need a compatible MagSafe dock. So it does need to be vertical so you can have your phone in that landscape orientation. This one's kind of flexible. You can kind of pivot it as you need. So again, we're going to want it facing upwards, kind of like an old digital clock would do. So it is facing you. Once you have one of those, all you're going to want to do is jump into settings and then scroll down and you will see a complete new option here called standby. When this is enabled, and again, this is kind of limited to the 14 Pro Max for an always on option. Otherwise, if you have anything below a 14 Pro, it will only work for about 20 seconds and then shut off. Personally, it seems to me like that is limiting what the usefulness of this would be, but having said that, that is its current implementation. So you have three options, you can enable or disable standby, Turn that always on display on or off and then night mode with night mode you will get that red tint for low ambient lighting so it's not going to blind you and then you have motion awake where it says standby will turn on the display when motion is detected so obviously we have everything enabled and it's literally that easy so what we're going to want to do next you're going to lock your device put it in that landscape orientation find that connector and you will see once the screen goes black standby mode. So here it is, as you can see, these are two separate panels that you can adjust for widgets. What you need to do is you can actually swipe down or up, and you can see there's about four of them on each side to connect and kind of mingle with which you want with each other. So as you can see, again, in its beta format, it is kind of hit and miss. It does not load every time like it should. But there's a calendar, there's a reminder, there's the weather, and then there's different kinds of clocks for an analog and then digital as well. Close that back out. Beyond that, you click on it, it will jump into your calendars or whatever widget you click on. You can also swipe left and right to get different views and different notifications. This will give you your photo frame kind of look there is a much more basic and large, you know, bedside clock with your next alarm, temperature and date. And then if you scroll back through it, you can see those are the fir first three options that are available. So again, very limited in its current, current status. You can obviously change it in these other forms if you wish. But uh, yeah, again, not too much else to it. So that is standby in its basic form as it stands right now. Let us know in the comments down below. Are you going to be utilizing this? Do you think it's beneficial uh, or is it just gimmicky? Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.